Hello everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo, the Australian DLC edition, <gasps> where I think we have mating koalas. This is not a drill, my friends. I do believe we have some mating koalas. Yes! Hopefully that will help out with the uh, objectives that we actually are going to be tackling pretty soon. In fact, Eva did mate. Oh, but she's not pregnant. Curses. Uh, but hopefully that will help us out with some of the objectives that we are going to be tackling in just a little bit. Holy cow, that is way too cold. <laughs> way too cold for these guys. What the heck? That is not the temperature I wanted that cooler to be set at. Okay, hopefully that will keep it more in the normal range for everyone. No wonder they couldn't mate. Oh, geez. And we're getting a little low on cash. But welcome back. So we are currently experimenting with the very first of the timed objectives that we are trying to tackle. Uh, so far, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm not feeling entirely entirely certain that we're going to be able to tackle this challenge, but we're going to do our absolute best to uh, try to beat this Tanami Roadside Zoo with a gold star feeling a little nervous about that, and push our way through adding in some of the new exhibit species, the new habitat species, and generally getting this zoo up and going so that we will be able to uh, just like preen about being really great zookeepers and, while admiring all of the Australian animals, but I'm beginning to think that that is a little bit of a dream. So all right, we have now added in the koala, the kangaroo. We also have the glorious cassowary right down here. And now we are only missing one of the new animals that have come with the Australian DLC. Oh, and don't forget, we also have the blue tongue lizard hanging out right down there. One of my favorite lizards. I've held so many of those guys over the years, and they're always just like really placid potatoes. Very nice little ones. I like them a lot. I love the design of the new DLC items. We'll have to talk more about that when we have a chance. For now, let's come over and see what we can do to try to help out the... Oh, the flamingos. They're so hot. Hang in there, guys. I'm going to add another cooler right over here. Hopefully it will cool you guys off. I'm learning that the Australian Outback is really baked dry, extremely hot. I'm sure that's not a surprise to any of you who know anything about the Outback, but it's a bit of a surprise to me. Uh, and we're going to continue to add in some more animals today. So hopefully we have enough money to do that. That's also an issue. Can I take out a loan? Oh my gosh, I'm totally taking out. I'm taking out the big loan. I am taking out the big loan. I mean, look, if we only have a few minutes to be able to make this work, I'm taking out the big loan and we're going to straight up put down, let's see, that's glass, not, uh, not climbable, resistance grade two. What do I need for a dingo? How tough is a dingo? Because now my friends, we have the koala, we have the cassowary, we have the red kangaroo. Let's get the dingo. And in order to get dingoes, they need just a grade two boundary. They need, looks like 12,000 square feet. Uh, and they're pretty good with most temperatures. Nice, except the really, really hot temperatures we have here. So I'm gonna do glass. Let me peek back here. So for the dingo, you know what? Let's just go with the cheaper chain link for now. And we will replace everything when I can. What is this fencing? I actually am not familiar with this fencing. It is chain link. I've never used chain link fencing before because it's not exactly the most appealing thing. Um, let's see. And yoink, yoink, yoink. We're gonna wanna build fast. If ever there was a time to take out a huge freaking loan, now is that moment so that we can go ahead and throw together, hopefully, something in the next few minutes. Okay, we can do this friends. We're pixel biologists. We're better than not being able to achieve these dreams All right, let's see. I'm gonna put down maybe a habitat gate right over here. Let's evaluate how big this thing is now It is only 8,000 square feet So we need to actually make this quite a bit bigger if we are going to want dingoes inside which we do All right, let's edit this. We'll take out the back and we'll make it a little longer and make people have to kind of walk around it. There we go. There we are. Retract those bits. And what do we have now? 
just barely, which means if I put two dingoes in there, they're going to be a little unpleased with one another. So let's carry on here. All right, come on. There we go. And, jeez, listening to the way it sounds when you're putting down the chain link fencing actually reminds me of a lot of the machines that I've dealt with in our adventures in Horizons. Zero Dawn. But we'll talk about that another day. Right now we are pixel biologists getting ready to hopefully create, there we go, a really nice new dingo exhibit as quickly as we can. Also, yay for loans. I try not to really take loans out um, on a normal basis. Ooh, a natural path. What's the difference between a natural path with curve markers and just a natural path? Interesting. All right, let's come over here. Can I connect these two up? Apparently not, interesting. All right, there we go. And let's get some dingo in here. Also, I hope these guys have water. Do you guys have water? Apparently? I don't know where they're getting their water. Okay, we're gonna have to check everybody for water safety in just a minute here, because I'm a little concerned about that. But let's grab some dingoes. I can't wait for things to slow down whenever that chaos does start slowing down because we'll be able to pay attention to the cool new things like the fancy uh, markings. So we have like yellow orange sandy fur, which most of the dingoes have, or red orange sandy fur, which this guy has. Let's go ahead and adopt George. And let's see, we'll go ahead and get Issa, Isla, and we'll put them in here. How big do their, how big is a dingo's pack requirement? Is it a pack or is it just like a pair of dingoes? Let's check. All right, social needs. So, dingoes are social animals that usually live in family packs, although they might also live alone or in groups of two to three unrelated individuals. The average pack contains an alpha male and alpha female, their juvenile offspring, and a litter of pups less than a year old. Kind of like wolf packs, but we'll be talking more about the difference between dingoes and wolves soon. And hello! Hi, pretty pretty! Let's go ahead and see what you need. You're actually really freaking happy, apparently. I hope you noticed the hard shelter I just put down for you. Is that a good hard shelter? Apparently it is not a good hard shelter. Uh, Fooey, I was hoping, here, maybe if I back up like this, there, get all my money back. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and see if we can make the dingoes happy really quickly. Um, now I need whatever a dingo needs. I don't think we're gonna be able to make this challenge, friends, but oh my goodness, am I ever gonna toss whatever we have into trying to make it happen. All right, put down the water thing. And then how about we just put down a nice little shelter back here and see, do you guys like that? It's really the most basic thing in the world. They do, but it's not big enough. So let's try, that's huge. What about this one? Do you guys like that? Okay, they do, but again, it's not big enough. What? There? <laughs> Okay, hopefully that'll help them. The temperature is a little bit warm. Um, otherwise, they need some enrichment. So toys, blood scent marker, ooh, prey scented sack over here. <gasps> a water pool? What? There's a new thing for the animals to play with? Oh my gosh, I want to see what happens with the water pool. Forget the prey scented sack. Like, come splash in the water, friends. And then while you're at it, here's a chew toy even though you're totally not dogs. I really need to like reiterate that a few times over. Uh, and let's give them a pinata enrichment. There. They should be totally happy. And hopefully, oh yay, the kangaroos are about to meet. Hopefully that will attract people's attention because come on, they're dingoes. Of course it should attract their attention. All right. And then let's, oh yes, the kangaroo is expecting offspring. Also, what the heck is this? Oh my word, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to think about that. Uh, but while we're back here, people are really overheated and they're really hot. So I'm hoping one of the things we might be able to convince people to do is swing on over 
and give their cash and the greater name of taking care of all of our animals to... Is there a new shell? <gasps> the vending machines! Oh my gosh, that's something that's new in this patch too! Yay, I'm so glad to see that they're here. So you can actually put down vending machines, you guys. That will let people grab like something to eat and like just a, a cheap, quick little something to drink and eat. So we're gonna put down a few of those just to kind of take the edge off. Uh, even though it's not going to be enough to be able... Where's the Australian DLC? Is there a shell for the Australian DLC? We'll have to see. All right, let's do filters. Let's do content pack, Australian pack. And oh, look at that wall decoration. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much fun with that. Oh, I love these nature scenes. I just don't have time to dwell on a lot of the details because we're like almost out of time on this challenge already. All right, let's get people drinking some more Gulpy because unfortunately Gulpy is the only thing I can offer them at the moment. All right, and then we'll slide that back in here. And I think, there we go. That puts another vendor over here, but hopefully that'll drag people down here to come look at the dingoes. I'm gonna double, triple, absolutely ultra check, even though I think I already know the answer that they can't cohabitate with anything. Nope, <laughs> they would probably eat it. What about the cassowary? Can I give you guys a friend? Nope. <laughs> all right, so now we have all of the new Australian animals. Uh, we have a whole bunch of creatures over here that are attracting attention, including a pregnant kangaroo, which is very exciting. We have got ourselves several greater flamingos. They want more space. They also would like a more members in their social group. Mm, they don't really get inter any interspecies enrichment. Um, they have already tried to do a little bit of mating though, which is kind of nice. What could I throw in with a flamingo? Let's think about this for just a Gazelle! I could probably throw in some of the other African animals. That would be pretty nice. Some of the other African grassland animals that would bump us up on this objective to have two more species. Yes, let's go with some of the African animals. All right. We're gonna think about this, we're gonna clear that, and then we're going to grab, not the buffalo, but let's grab, all right. I mean, we could put in a pangolin. It, they would be Chinese pangolin, but there are pangolin in Africa. Um, let me see, oh, I could put in a hippo. Yeah, no, okay, there's no hippo available. <laughs> Otherwise, I would totally do that. Um, we could put some Indian peafowl down if we wanted to be fancy. Nile monitor, maybe? Uh, let's see, who else do we have? Proghorn antelope. Um, sable antelope. I'll take anybody right now. Springrock? Okay, there's Springrock and Thompson's gazelles, maybe? <laughs> okay, we can at least grab the Springrock. <laughs> We've got that much. All right, let's grab those two. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to plunk them in here. And then I need one more animal, but I think for the sake of this challenge, like you can only have so many. So how about I'll take any species now? Who could I? I could have oh, a big saltwater crocodile. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we're going to expand the exhibit so that our brand new... <laughs> here, got to pause real quick. All right, go, 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 go. Running out of time. But we're gonna expand this for the flamingo. I think we need to put a water purifier on the lake over here. And then right next to it, which nobody needs to worry about like the animals getting eaten or anything. But right over here, as part of the, the natural water like way, we're gonna have ourselves a saltwater crocodile, which I have never added in to Planet Zoo. Can you believe that? Almost a year later, and I still have never added in a saltwater crocodile, due mostly just to, like, it, it just hasn't happened yet. We have so many events going on all the time that just hasn't happened. All right, let's grab big old path. And then I think we will have completed at least one of the objectives. 
<laughs> Yay, there's a spring rock. We'll take good care of them in just a minute. Trying to get a little creative about how to add in some of the other animals. And then let's put, no, I don't want that path to go there, but let's put this path over here. So people can really get a good look at our beautiful saltwater crocodile that we will have in in just a second. All right, and we'll loop this in here. There we go. All right, where is she? Our eighth and final animal of the moment. We're gonna toss her in here. Hopefully the spring rock will attract some attention because they're adorable. We'll make them happy in just a minute too. And then hopefully our saltwater crocodile will do well. Did I just achieve? Yay! With nine minutes left, we have just achieved having a different habitat species in the park. Uh, let's go, 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 go. And maybe we'll be able, with the sake of this gigantic loan we took out, <laughs> maybe we will be able to achieve what we need. Money needs to not be an issue if, like, already, if we want to make this happen. All right, let's get down two more. Ooh, the medium exhibit's perfect. We're gonna get these two medium exhibits plunked right over here. Oh my gosh, is that ever just the perfect spot? And we're gonna grab, how about some snakes? Let's grab some nice snakes of some kind. The puff adder would actually be perfect. We're gonna put in the puff adder right there. I love the puff adders actually. And how about the Gila monsters? There we go. And we're gonna grab the Gila monsters right here. Boom, we have just achieved at least the three different habitat species. We're trying to pull in a little bit of money, trying to pull our rating up a little bit. Oh, we need to get education down like no tomorrow. First though, oh no, there's no power over here. Beep, 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 emergency. <laughs> I need power. Give me the power. Okay, wind turbines, yes. People don't care about wind turbines. They don't mind wind turbines, so they will allow us to have those without complaining about them. Um, there we go. And now we can come over and try to get these guys. Let's cool it off, let's increase. And then we'll come back to see how that's working. Let's cool these guys off a little. There we go. Gently, gently. And how about over here? Okay. Oh, I can actually decorate their exhibit somewhat. Yay! Okay. Are you okay, buddy? I only have one puff adder in here. I should have two puff adders. Maybe I didn't adopt that female. All right, let's get him into this range. There we go. There. Okay, good. All right, so puff adder is now set. Gila monster is now set up. Uh, we can actually put down education boards, puff adder, and heal the monster. Yay! Oh my gosh. Okay. So <laughs> running out of time, running out of time. How's my crocodile? Oh, I actually have a crocodile. Is your exhibit big enough, my dear? Yes. You just need some enrichment to come up over to the shore so that like people can come see you. And my flamingos seem a little happier now that their area is a bit bigger too. Uh, all right, what is a crocodile's enrichment? And I promise once the challenge is over, this time challenge that despite our best efforts, I mean, I don't know if we're gonna achieve, but you know what, we'll at least do our best and we're gonna stick to it so we can have our very first evaluation of how much time it took. And then as time goes on and we realize, oh, I wish I could have done a little better we can evaluate how to uh, do better with the time. But for now, terrain. What does she not like about the terrain? Inappropriate setup. Oh, we'll, we'll tweak that in just a little bit. All right, for now, what did we accomplish? We have now got, we're working on getting the guest up. Education needs to go way up. We need more yearly profit. We need more shop profit. We need more of this. <laughs> we need more of these shops. In fact, let's actually do a big shop complex. Normally I go for like small shops, play it safe. I'm almost out of money. <laughs> I am almost out of money. I am almost out of money. Okay, um, blueprints, blueprints. <gasps> the cassowary is about to have offspring. What the heck? When did that even happen? Oh my gosh. All right, here's a large shop. How many shops can I put in? Two, okay. So we're gonna put this down. Oh my word, this is so freaking cute. 
And then we might just try kind of sneakily taking out a couple more. Oh no, ins insufficient funds. Don't tell me that. More loans. There we go, more loans. That'll make everything better. All right, let's get Chief Beef in here. There we go. And let's get another gulpy stall in here. There we go. Come on. And then people just need to like come over here to spend their money. And one of the wonderful ways that's a little do like devious, but we can influence people to come this way, is by putting the toilets back here. There are always bladder needs amongst our guests that we must honor. And sometimes, there we go, little desert block. Sometimes those are easily, like most easily honored with a 25 cent charge. <laughs> Cause we need the money. Five minutes remaining to achieve gold. Protesters have arrived. Why? Who are they protesting? Oh geez, when did you guys breed? <laughs> All right. There we go. Now those guys should be happier. All right, let's see if we can increase the animal welfare to 85% uh, and the the like education rating, five minutes. I'm stumbling, I'm staggering. Let's speed it up. Maybe if we, yeah, actually I should have had that the whole time. <gasps> Why didn't I realize that we needed to have it on high speed the whole time? Because I am an absolute goose bucket, that's why. All right. We need to make um, our bison happy. What are they unhappy about? Oh, it's a f two females. I should have had a boy. I should have had a boy and that would have made things so much better. Okay, we're gonna come around and we're actually gonna loop this whole thing in glass. And that should actually make my, wait, it's only normal glass. It's not, ah! <laughs> Okay, that's not gonna make anything better because my bison are still going to feel super stressed by all of these people. So actually, do I need the bison? <laughs> Come on, they're bison! Okay, okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually, uh, box you? Can I, can I do that? No, no, don't unbox all animals! I meant to, like, say, like, why don't we send you to the trade center, bison? There we go. Um, and does that take away- Ah! Okay, now I need a new animal to add in. That's not bison, but I'm telling you, like the bison didn't belong here in the first place. <laughs> I'm busy. Okay, we could get, we could get more koala. There's girl. Can I actually put these guys in? These girl, well, gym spock. A Galapagos tortoise. I will take a random Galapagos tortoise. Get in here. <laughs> if you are who I need, you are. What the heck? We had dingo babies. <laughs> okay. Failing this challenge may be one of the best things that will happen to us because it will allow us to focus on just enjoying the Australian animals. <laughs> Come on, that counts as eight. Yes, okay. Um, okay, we need new staff rooms. We need more animals to breed and I need to make them happier. So let's see what we can do to try to increase the joy amongst our different, our different critters. I've never gone fast forward like this before. It's very surreal. Oh, we need more enrichment items. Heck. Oh my gosh, watching the kangaroos jump all over the place is just absolute, uh, like, koala chaos. I don't know why I named the, uh, like, the chaos after the koalas, because to be honest, a koala doesn't move most of the day. They're pretty chill. All right, we're gonna put this here. A diseased animal has been discovered. No. And then we'll put this over here. And then, wait, how did that cut down in your space? You should be fine. Space, okay, you're fine. All right, oh, oh, the koalas are mating again. Is she pregnant? Ah, oh, she's not pregnant. All right, um, oh, a minute and 40 seconds left. The welfare of our animals is ever decreasing. Have we researched anything new with our vet? We have! This whole time we had already researched new things with the vet and I didn't even know it because I was so distracted. <laughs> All right, we're gonna not have a super high score on this particular round of the challenge, I feel, friends. But you know what? We have learned a lot. We have learned a lot about how to manage things. Um, we have learned a lot about trying to do a time challenge. 
And I have been served some absolutely delicious humble pie for when it comes to thinking that, you know, I, I know what to do and I'm anywhere competent at being able to handle at being able to handle um, taking care of a zoo with a challenge like this. All right, why are you guys hungry? Why is no one feeding you? Nourishment, they're hungry. They need food. Uh, I probably need to put down like maybe a food thing. Oh boy. All right. I'm going to very gently and with love go ahead and kiss goodbye the dedicated efforts we were making <laughs> to trying to beat this challenge. But how many objectives did we complete in the last 15 seconds we've got? We managed to go ahead and we did manage to get eight different habitat species, three different, oh, and vet research is now complete on the claws, three different uh, exhibit species. Uh, and that's that, time has run out, okay. <laughs> We're just going to have to do our best. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this. It was chaos. Absolute chaos. Uh, however, I am really proud about how quickly things have escalated. Normally, I'm a much slower, like really pacing everything out sort of builder. Uh, it's just my, my way of doing things. However, this definitely has put a little bit of a fire under my rump at trying to like build quickly and with meaning. So hopefully we'll be able to, let's see, I probably need another keeper hat over here. Hopefully we'll be able to keep up the fun. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for the utter chaos that just occurred. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. I promise we'll spend more time just chilling with the animals and taking good care of them next time. <laughs> ah, but most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.